getting because everybody has their own opinion right so but i didn't mind doing a split test so if i ever talk to them again i can say look i ran it this way and i ran yours this one did much better than yours you know what i'm saying oh maybe, for sure but maybe not maybe the other one will work better i you know who knows right we never know until you test yeah exactly and so that's why what i did is i didn't i didn't delete anything so all i did is i duplicated everything and so i duplicated you still have the old pages so you still have what he did this is the the free kit right here okay this is the uh, the thank you page where when they enter their name and email they go to this page and then they have the the calendly calendar so it's still there all i did is i just duplicated it and i'm not really too crazy about this button i just put it here for the hell of it for right now but i can i'm going to change it to okay. maybe something different but so for example here is let me walk you dude, i just i just spent a good amount of time on your shit man i just i literally created everything i recreated everything again god i but, wish you would have i wish you would have recorded it because well I, all i did is i duplicated it so every page all i simply did is i clicked on the three dots and i clicked on clone oh, okay so, so the ones that i did look clone clone oh and all it is is a duplicate of the other one but a a, a, a different variation okay perfect now i understand uh, right I, and then, yeah, and, then yeah. I created, and then and then you have this thank you page over here all i did is i i cloned it also and this is the thank you thank you page clone so let me um yeah i like you i like to go through all the pages and make sure that we're all let me give me one second um so did you like my you're cutting you... up. hold on thank you for scheduling um i'm gonna put clone so you know which one which one i i did so give me one second so i don't oh, no. No, no no take your time man i mean um you don't know how excited i am and i know there's a huge learning curve too i mean it's just really facebook ads dude and to tell you the truth i don't run facebook ads on this type of shit so i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna guide you i'm gonna definitely hold your hand through it but this is not this is not what I'm going to be able to do all the time. Like I'm not going to be able to run these ads for you. So some so so either if if anything I can teach you how to run this and then just teach you what to look out for and teach you freaking how to do the damn thing. Yeah, yeah um, exactly. I gotta I, I gotta learn it. So you gotta um, learn you gotta learn, or you're gonna hire someone to run these damn ads for you. I, I, I'm gonna you, learn it. I'm gonna yeah, learn it. Good. You want to learn it yourself for sure. Um, but let me give me one second. So this is the one that I that I cloned. So. I want to make sure. Thank you for scheduling. Okay, cool. And I'll walk you through the entire thing. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to really um, try to put some time into it, but it's hard to build a home if you don't know where to really start. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This, this is kind of the same thing. What you're doing here is just, I'm just amazed. And I know you all. Well, I mean, you already had all this shit. It's what he did. It's what that guy did. But all I did, I could have easily done all that shit myself. I mean, I do this shit. I do this. Is what I do for a full time freaking living. Like I live in this shit. But at the same time, all I did with with your shit is just duplicated or cloned what he already did. So it made it super easy for my for me. And and yeah, now we have the ability to ability to split test. So um. So this one. So I created. I I created this one. I created this one. I created this one, and then I also, I also in my communications when they opt in. So they come over here to the new page. This is the new page. When they okay. opt in, when they opt in, they're going to be on this email list. So this is the clone email list. So let me, let me, let me. How to keep your property rented? Clone. So this is the list that I created, um, and then when they when they when they're they're now on a list and then tomorrow they're going to get um an email and that email is going to come from from this sequence over here so this is the sequence that they're tied to let me ask you about the sequence because i got like two or three emails yesterday in the sequence yeah because you're you're on the list so you're on because you're on a specific email list because you're on this list over here because you opted into the page you're on you're on um you're on this list right here. I think you're on, I think you might be on the master list. Whatever list he has you on, whatever list he created that page around, that's the list that you're on. And now, and now the sequence 
you're getting emails every day now, which well, which is well, which is well, I think this sequence right here, which is this sequence. Which is but fine, but why would I get three in one day? Yeah, exactly. That's what, well, because we were t we were testing yesterday. First of all, we were testing. So remember, you got an email because of me right here. I opted in. No, I'm talking about, I already opted in. Myself. I'm talking about, I got the email saying, hey, if you want to rent your home, blah, blah, blah. I mean, they, they were the seven. Yeah, see, these are the sequences that you're on right here. You're on Chasing Rent because these are the, these are the sequences. So right here, Chasing Rent, Kelly Archer Book, Kelly Archer Appointment Decline Series. Those are three email series, series which are right here. So you happen to be on all damn three. Let me go back to it. You have oh, to be on all three series, and so you're getting a freaking email. You're getting three a day. Yeah, I didn't know if. if but but everybody else, they're not going to be on three, um, and so you should just be on one. You know, you should just be on this one email sequence, which is sending out an email every day. You should be getting one a day, but but you probably put yourself into all three. So here's what I can do: you go to list. Okay. So let, let me clear you out completely and you can just start from the beginning um, and you opt in. You're recording this? Yeah. Okay. So I come, to, I come to leads. So I'm in my communications to the left. I'm at leads. I click on leads and then I come over here to the magnifying glass and I can just search a name and there's Kelly. So Kelly happens to be, you're on the list. That's one thing. And then you're on because the list because you opted into all the different forms so now you're on those lists and then you're also in three different sequences okay so, I, I i never even knew there was three lists i mean i you, you just taught me something like i said the guy never went over this with me he so just, i'm going to delete you out of the system and then and then the and then so the list yeah you have three three series three different sequences which are autoresponder the autoresponder so you yeah. have three of them so one is chasing rent and then one is this one and then one is this one did so the one that I had chasing rent one did he create that chasing rent one or did you me did that day we probably did it we probably did it way back then let me see what lead, what lead is on it um so jonathan oh, designs so at barefoot local okay yeah that, that must be that guy's uh name okay so then what well, we can do is let's um so he so, designed yeah, so, it what's that he designed it. He designed yeah. all three of these. Okay, so that's fine. Um, but the one that 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 is tied to this one, like he, this is the one I cloned, I duplicated. But the one that he created, it's tied to this one. So it's tied to this sequence. Okay. Okay. So, like for example, the number three, you click on that, and it'll, sh it'll show you who's on that sequence. I should be on that sequence. So here's Dave. Dave, I'm gonna delete myself off that sequence. And so what you can do. Oh, that's how you delete it. Okay. I didn't that's know. how you delete a lead. Or you can move it around. I could take it out of this sequence, put it in a different sequence. I could take it off this list, put it in a different list. Uh, yeah, if you yeah. click on the name, you can open up the analytics. So I can open up the name and I can see, okay, he has these tags. Whoa. So the guy, that guy did a lot for you. He put the tags together also. Um, that's just a way to categorize everyone, the tags. But then you come to transactions, it'll tell you if anything happened, but it's log. So log, it'll tell you what's going on. That person landed on a certain page. That person opened up an email. That person hasn't opened up an email. Was email number two sent? Yes, it was sent. So a lot of times my clients, they'll say, David, well, I never got your email. I'll click on their name. I'll open up log and I'll say, hey, man, it was sent. Like okay. check your spam or something because I know it was sent. Like email number two, it was sent. It was sent at 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 two thirty four. You know, so this right here just gives me good details on that on that lead. But um, the sequence, the sequence is what you'll be receiving, and I changed the day. So remember how yesterday was going out automatically, like immediately. I don't know if you remember, but yeah, you had two yeah. emails that were going out immediately. Now it's only one email. So here's what you're going to do. This okay. is the one that I created. All right. Let me just, um, Check let me out. just Facebook it to you real quick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you go through it on your cell phone. So just okay. get this message on your cell phone okay. and, and, and go through it on your cell phone. And then what I'm going to do also is I'm going to go through it right here. 
so I go to my Facebook. So don't go through it yet. Just save it real quick. I got to find it. it first. Well, I Facebook message it to you. So just save it. Don't go through it yet. Let's go through it together right here. Okay. So did you get the message? Well, yeah, I'm you got it. Oh, I did. Okay. Like okay, I've, so nev I've never had a message through Facebook, so that's the first time there. I don't do Facebook, so right now no, you're a link. I just sent you a Facebook message. Oh, okay. Yeah. So All that right. link, that's this link right here. Okay. Okay. So just go through what I'm saying is go through it on your phone later. But right now, let's go through this real quick on um on the computer. So okay, so I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna opt in. Okay. And then it's taking me to this page right here. Okay. So other th rather than the Calendly link, I put this button right here. Okay. Schedule call. Okay. So there they watch the video. They click on this to schedule a call. It takes them straight to your Karcher calendar where they can easily book a call right here. Okay, great. I'll book this, this time slot. And then I'll go ahead and put my name. And then here's where it's going to take me next. So I click on submit, you'll get an email saying that that person just booked an appointment. And then here goes that chick on that video. And so now that's the entire funnel. So you should, so, so, so I would have, would have received an email with a free download. And then I would have also received an email confirming my appointment. Beautiful. So this right here is what I'm saying on the Calendly one. There was no thank you page. This is a thank you page. After the person books an appointment, they're, they're taken to this thank you page. With my Facebook pixel, my pixel needs to be on this thank you page because now I'm going to be able to create an, a special audience within Facebook ads. I'm going to be able to create a special audience of all the people who landed here because those are all people who actually scheduled an appointment. I need them in a special category because when I go run Facebook ad number two, I'm going to exclude them. Those are people that never need to see my ad again. They already scheduled an appointment. Okay. So, how so with Calendly, that? we couldn't do that with Calendly. You were oh. taking me, you were taking me, you were taking me to this page right here. Uh -huh. Once I opt in, once I opt in, I'm taken to this and I, and I only opted in to get my free download. But I opted in, you took me to this page where there was a Calendly thing. I schedule on this page, I schedule Calendly, and that's it. So I'm, yeah. I wasn't able to, to categorize that scheduled appointment through Facebook ads because you kept me on this page. Yeah, because I had to upgrade Calendly. Yeah, of course, of course. So rather than having to pay extra, it's already in Kartra. We use the Kartra calendar, and now we can track on this page who's scheduled through Facebook ads. Okay, that's perfect. Makes I mean sense. Yeah, oh yeah, it totally makes sense. And, and then, I mean, and then that when that person scheduled an appointment, number two, open our email, find the email we just sent you. It has the subject line appointment confirmed. No, and so I that think, person, they're going to check their email. They're going to get their free download, and they're going to, you know, see a second a second email that says appointment confirmed, and um, and that and that's that's the Kartra calendar, man. So that's that's kind of the whole process. I mean, you're just like that guy, man. I mean, like I said, he created that this whole series in two hours, and and and, and you could do the same thing in two hours. You're so fast. But you know what? I was listening to a guy yesterday. He said, "Dude, uh, there's a big learning curve. You just got to put time in." And he says, "Once you figure it out, you're don't tell you it's 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 not, dude. I'm telling you, you can learn this shit fast, bro. You're just not you're just not putting in the time." Yeah, so for no, example, I I totally agree. What I you got, should do? Yeah, tell should, me. You should, you should really plan to be on the next, let's just say the next mm, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight. Let's plan on being on the next eight Kartra webinars. What time are they? That's which the are, problem. which are, which are on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 PM. Okay. I mean, I know you've told me that before, but that's where you're going to learn all this shit. Like that's, that's where I learn all this shit. I don't just know this shit, bro. And once I, once I learned it, once I got on a few calls, I'm like, dude, that shit's simple. Like I can do that. Like I'm telling you, I'm not smart at this, bro. This is freaking elementary. Like I did a YouTube video yesterday talking shit about how I'm going to show my 12 year old how to do this damn stuff and I'm going to record it. And that's going to be my next YouTube video. Oh dude, that's awesome. Man. Because no, I agree with you. Cause you've always told me that this is elementary stuff here. It is dude. I just know it. I just, just it, dude, if I went to your job and threw on a hard hat and tried to work that, exact day without ever being trained i would think dude i would think it's the hardest shit ever well i know until you learn it and until i learn it. it 
That's why I said. But but that learning curve is not a long learning curve. Okay. That's not a long learning curve at all. Same shit with this. It's not a long. It's not a long learning curve. You'll learn it fast. Okay, so we're here now. So everything's cloned. So we have A B tests ready to go out. Correct. Well, here's the thing about A B testing. It it just comes down to how much you want to spend. Well, like one ad, one Facebook ad, you're going to be at let's just say ten bucks a day. And then, and then if you're saying you want to test right away, okay, that's a second Facebook ad at $10 a day. Now we're at 20 bucks a day seeing which page works. Great. Let's do it. Okay. $20 a day. I, I'm, and dude, I, I'm 55 years but, old. But, I don't, but, I don't have but here's the thing also. It's the, it's the first, the first ad, as I mentioned yesterday, is going to be the video. So the video, oh, it's oh, that okay. video that's going to go out for the next few days. That's okay. what I would do first, man. Yes, you're and right. So, you're right. Let's do that. Let's do, so, like, so lead capture is not going to happen right, right this second. What I would suggest is running a video. Let's get a few thousand people to watch the video and let's let that happen in the next, let's just say five to seven days, five to seven days, go, go the next week and run out the first ad, the first okay. video ad to, to, again, to catch the people who view it to then build a custom audience around those people and target them with ad number two. Let's do it. Which would be in week number two. And that's when we start going for leads because now we have a warm market. Now Facebook knows who watched our first video. Okay. Okay. So that's what I spent the last hour doing is, is, is creating all these damn things and cloning it. One thing I didn't pick out just yet was the video for the ad. That's all we need. So So, I don't know which one to pick. Which one do you? I mean, do you shit. Like, do you this like one, her, or do you like that one with the guy with the green grass, right? Yeah, there? this one's cool too because it's a little longer. Let me play it real quick one more time. Okay. Or do you think the girl, since she's the the know, chick's hot, so I mean yeah, that might grab yeah. that might grab more attention, especially if the majority of I think your clients are male. I mean, are they? I would yeah. think the majority yeah. are male. They are male. So I mean, showing Over. a hot blonde like that, I mean. That's great attention. Let me see this one real quick. Okay. Are you considering renting out your home but have no idea how you're going to manage it? Good news. Archer Management Group is here to help. From residential and commercial property management to vacation rental management, Archer Management Group has you covered. Our expert team of highly qualified individuals are here to remove the headaches of the day-to-day tasks of managing a rental property. Archer Management Group handles property advertising this is it, bro. This is this is a good one. This is a really good one. Okay, use it then. And videography. I'm fine. Leasing contracts, compliance, federal and state housing laws, property maintenance, and much more. We understand that unattractive. You know what? I think we ran this already in Facebook. Just for I think you did, or maybe I did, just to get looked. I think a thousand people looked at it. Maybe three or four hundred clicked on it. Yeah, I didn't run that one. Let me no, no. Um, let me check it. But we you know might. what? What I do have to do though is I have to let me log into your let me log into yours because what I have to do is I have to put that um, oh pixel on there. No, not necessarily the pixel. Yeah, that too. But um, what I have to do is just is run everything on your end. So let me log into yours. Give me one second. I don't I don't remember your stuff, dude. Um, what was uh, the email? The login uh, Ke- email. Uh, Kelly W Archer. Yeah, Gmail. Okay, don't say the password because we're recording. But um. Can you Facebook message it to me? Well, I'll just, I'll, I'll, um, I'll message her right here. So. Give me one second. Just, yeah, Facebook, I'm going to grab my cell phone. All right, it's in your, I just sent it to you. So. And, uh.
Sorry about that, bro. Okay, I got my don't, phone, so let me look at the um. Oh, don't worry about it. The I, info. Mean, I mean, I'm just actually no, I didn't um, I didn't get it, dude. What do you mean? I did it on Messenger. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Okay, let me um. And then I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to. When I when I did talk to that guy when he developed it, I said, "Dude, I don't know how to do it." And he says, "That's even better." He goes, "This is how you learn. Once it's up, um, it forces you to learn it." And I go, "Oh, he goes, that's how I learned it." I go, "Well, how long did it take you to learn how to do this that shit?" He goes, "I don't know." He goes, "It took me about six months to learn how to how to learn Kartra." But he said, "I already knew ClickFunnels, so he already knew ClickFunnels." So. Yeah. So he said it was it, it's it's pretty simple. He said the hardest part is being creative. That's the hardest part, bro. Like that's the the copywriting. Like the yeah. copywriting. Yeah. I'm reading a book right now. I'm literally reading a book right now. It's called Copywriting Secrets. It's it's by the people with ClickFunnels. It's it's by the people from ClickFunnels. What do you think um, about yeah, the book? Yeah, because that's what's that? How, I mean, how do you, I mean, I, what you've told me, you always go for the pain points and then you try to figure out how, how you could help them through it, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, but the copywriting, how do you say that in a way that, um, you know what I'm saying? You're yes. pretty good at it because when you and me talk and you fly that shit out of your mouth, I go, wow, I wish I could record it because, but I'm probably that way if you want to talk about real estate and home. Yes, dude, you are. That's what I'm saying. Like what you practice, you know, you just get better at. I yeah, just yeah. practicing this shit. Yeah, you're, 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 I'm just giving you a compliment. You're good. I may have to start doing, I'm, I'm starting to try to lose some weight so I can start doing some of my own videos, like at the very end. Cause I asked you the other day, would that make a difference? No, but I'm telling you, bro, it has nothing to do with how you look, it has nothing to do with it. Well, for me, I, I, I know, but for me, it would make me feel better. It, you know, like it's like a class reunion. Nobody cares if you're fat or whatever, but for me personally, I'd rather, um, um, for me to get in front of a, a camera, I'd have to I'd have to feel more comfortable about myself. That's all. I'd rather, to be honest with you, I'd rather not even, you know. No, I get it, man. I totally get not, it. Because I want to build a brand. I don't want to be the brand. I want the company. So when I die, they go, oh, Kelly's dead. Oh, we, we, we don't want this anymore. I want to build a Amazon owner isn't out there talking about it. McDonald's CEO is not out there on fucking YouTube. Yeah. But I get what you're saying. I think it does work a lot better because they get to see you. But we'll work on that a little bit. But uh, that's okay. I'm just grateful. Send me a bill. I'll pay you. Dude, that, that, you saw what I look like last night. That's every night. I'm bro, you got to do I, what you got to do. Yeah, but I'm 55 years old, and they all like, what are you doing here, dude? I mean, it's like, well, dude, I'm broke. Well, well didn't you save your money? Didn't you freaking, I mean, what did you do in your life? It's like, you know, they call me uh, Forrest Gump. That's my name there, Forrest Gump. They're teasing you, man. They're just playing with you. Don't take it personal. I wouldn't. Well, I don't I take it personal. I don't take it personal because you're the one that told me, go do what you have to do. You don't have this video here. What video did you run? Actually, is it this one right here? The why yeah, choose Archer? Yeah. Probably. But you don't have a ton of views on it. You never ran it as an ad. Which one did I run? 40 views. I thought he told me that like seven, 800 people looked at it. We ran, I it, can, for, um, we ran I, it for like a week, four days, four or five days for 10 bucks a day. And uh, it got a lot of, anyway, maybe not. Who knows? No, let me. I could check right now, dude. Okay, I don't even know if we are. No, are we are we are we an Archer management group, or are we just in Archer? My oh, unless unless, and this is this is how I don't do it, dude. And I'm gonna I'm gonna find out right now. Unless he ran the ad, um, behind the scenes, and that's what a lot of people do, man. And I don't know why. Like, for example, watch. I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now. Like I said, he did it because he he was the first guy that uh, he had his he didn't use Kartra. He had a different system. He you didn't use ClickFunnels either. 
And then he ran it. He's I don't know how to do any of this shit. He set it up and put the credit card in it and he said, ran it. And he says, Hey man, you had like 800 views, but only 400 clicked on it or 300. I, that's what I thought he said, but who cares? It doesn't matter. Well, is this, which account are you using? I'm going to check right Archer now. Ma Archer management group. Okay. So that's the one it would have been on. Under there, there's no ad. There's no previous ad. There's no old ad. Over here. You got that one. Let's see over here. Because the reason... The reason why um, I'm telling you, yeah, see, that, that's not even a, a full-blown account just yet, so okay, it wouldn't well, be right there. Like I said, he, uh, and then it well, took us a while because we had to go back for my son and try to get his log in, and it was, I remember it was a big freaking, uh, but he was like, you, he's really, sm this is what he does all the time, too. He was pretty smart at what he did. He goes, hey, let's run a video and just try to get some the likes and yeah see he didn't i don't know where he's i don't know where that's coming from because okay the video would be right here or the video would be over here and it's not but what i was going to show you was that if i did see the ad right here if it was a uh -huh. video that you guys did let's say five months ago i'd see it right here it'd be turned off right yes and then and then what i was getting ready to tell you by by all from all that was the fact that that's how some people run the ad so they'll run the ad but the moment you turn it off it's nowhere on the page. That's oh. why when I'm coming over here, I want to see the video, but it's not there because the way he ran it, if he did run an ad, which I'm willing to, which I'm assuming that he didn't because I would see it right here. But let's just say he did. If he ran that ad, it'd be showing right here. But the way he ran it was where when the moment you turn it off, it's nowhere to be found. I don't run ads that way. What I do is I put it on the page first because when I go and turn that ad off, I still want it on the page. So I, yeah, and he didn't do it that way. And I know it, it he didn't do it that me, way. I know it cost me like $70 or some shit like that. Yeah. He didn't do it that way. And, and that's why I don't even know where the ad's at. I, if, no, he didn't put I it mean, on Facebook. He did. He did not do that. Uh, he, we uploaded it uh, on here and we did it at, at a Starbucks and he did it. And I, uh, I, I just watched him a little bit and, and that was it. I, I mean, don't know where that ad is at dude. Cause it's not, it's not here. Okay. Well, I mean, um, I remember coming in here and looking at it at one time, but that's okay. I don't really care. It means nothing. Mm. But but I tell you what, the video did get um, went to like Dude, a thousand people. And that's it, what I'm it, saying, bro. Like that's why I want to see it. Where is it yeah. at? Because if that was the case, know. that we need that video. If we don't need it, but I mean, it would have helped. I mean, shit. Because that's it, what I'm it, trying to do right now. I'm trying to that, get the thousand people. It would have been that video that we're going to send out now. That that would have been the one that we sent out. It wouldn't have been the girl talking. It would have been that cartoon one. No, it's not that, bro. What I'm trying to tell you is that we're about to run an ad on a video. Yeah. If you okay. already did that and you got a thousand people to view it, no, well, that's what I'm about to try to do with this one. Okay. So let's because I want a thousand people. I need those thousands of people to view it first so I can run Facebook ad number two and retarget them. But if okay. you already ran the video and you already have a thousand people that viewed it, let's retarget them right now. That would yeah, save us another 70 bucks. But I'm saying, I don't see it here. Okay, so let's just start off. Let's just start yeah, fresh. Yeah, you got to just start off again, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, so I mean, here's what we need to do. We need to put, put it on this page first. Is this the one right here? Let's see which one this is. Are you considering renting out your home? But I think that's no it. Idea how you're going to manage it? Good news. Archer Management Group is here to help. Yep, that's the one. Residential and commercial property management to vacation rental management. Archer Management Group has you covered. Our expert team of highly qualified individuals are here to remove the headache of the day-to-day -day task. Okay, so that's the one. Right? Yes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Now it's on the page. You're looking at 42 views. We're going to make that number freaking climb fast. So here's what we're going to do. This is the, okay. this is the right account, right? Archer management group. And you're recording this. Yeah. Okay. So here's all we're going to do. We're going to come in uh, here, click on create okay. the green one. Okay. And the way you can get to create is you can, the way you can get to this page, here's what I would do. I would bookmark this page, but here's how you're going to get here. You're going to come to create on your page and you're going to click on add. Okay. When you click on add, 
fact, let me just click it from there. You click on add, this page over here is what I would recommend bookmarking. <clears throat> this right here, this is where the magic happens. This right here is where you start the ad. I would bookmark this page and then I would also bookmark this page over here. So if you click on that, you come down to ads manager and that's gonna bring you to the dashboard. So I'd, I would also bookmark this page if I were you. So bookmark this page. So later on, you know, when we're, when we're off the call, you can pull it up and just go to your page, click on create, click on add, and then bookmark the other page and bookmark this page. This is your dashboard. So every ad that we run, we're gonna see it right here. Okay. That's why if he ran an ad before, I would see it right here. Yeah. Why would he, why would he ever delete it? Like, that's the thing. You wouldn't delete it. Why would he delete it? The ad would be right here. So I it think someone's bullshit. No, no, it wasn't bullshit. I mean, I was there. I don't know if he ran in. Maybe he ran in there in my personal. Who the hell knows? I, I don't know. I, I would know. I would see it right there. And, and, and then, you, oh, you so would. whatever, it don't even matter. But I'm just saying, I don't know where that ad's at. It's not here. So here's what we're going to do. So let's click on the green one. Let's click on create. Okay. And again, this is the page you're going to bookmark as well. This one right here. And because you're in the housing industry, you always have to check this box. Okay. Oh, okay. You always have to check that box or the ad will, will be disapproved for sure. So okay. you have to click that and, and you're going to go with housing. This is employment credit, but you're going to go with housing. Okay. And again, all we're going to do with this one is run this one for the next, let's, let's say, I, I mean, if the budget is there, you want to go at least seven days, seven to 10 days, but, it, but if anything on the lower end, five to seven days. But again, the whole purpose with this is to take it from 42 views to 4,200. Like that's the whole objective with this first ad. So yeah, if we don't yeah. go to 4,200 and if we just go to 1,400, then at least we went up to, you know, at least we got a, a, a thousand people to view it because that's the audience. That's who we want to retarget. That's who we want to get back in front of in week number two, week number three, week number four. We want to just keep retargeting and keep putting our ads in front of the people who are watching the previous ones. Okay. Yeah. That's, I but, know, but the I, first one sense. that we roll out, the first one's going to go to somewhat of a cold market, even though we'll be able to target, even though we will target the custom list right that we put together the those are those are your custom audiences the, yeah. the 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 csv file or the x you know the excel those lists that we created we're gonna for sure target them in this in this ad but we're gonna also target a bunch of other people as well so that is this first ad is is our is our first one it's our cold one and so but after this again we get a, we get a few thousand people to view it that becomes our audience and then we just retarget them retarget them retarget them so the, the video is on the page. That's what you always want to do. So every week I'm saying go at least seven days and then, and then, and then turn that one out off. Actually that one, I'm going to show you how to schedule it. So it turns off automatically. Okay. But, but your second ad, your second ad, you're going to put it here first. It goes on the business page first and then we come over here and run the ad. But by the time we go to maybe our third, fourth video, it's no more video views. At that point, we're going for conversions. We're, we're telling Facebook, we need to drive people to the page. And it's not going to be this page. This is the thank you page. It's going to be this page over here. The first one, the initial opt-in page. So the one he created, and then also this is the one that I just simply duplicated. So when we go run Facebook ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, that's when we're going to be running no more, no more video views, no more video views. We're going to start running traffic and conversions. And the difference is, is that right now we're telling Facebook, Hey man, we're willing to pay 10 bucks a day. We're willing to do it for seven days for you bozos to find us the audience. I need you to find me the few thousand people that are going to watch the damn thing. That's what we're doing in ad number one. And then, and then in ad number two, we're going to tell Facebook, Hey, now we're looking to get back in front of them but find the people for us, Facebook. We're willing to pay again, but now we want you to find those people that, that watch the first one and find the ones that are willing for traffic and conversions. Find the ones that are willing to click. Look what it says. Send, me, send more people to a destination such as a website. Now we're going to tell Facebook, hey man, here's the destination. That one is for traffic and, then, and also for conversions. Drive valuable actions on your website. So 
Week number two, week number three, week number four, we're going to start going for traffic and conversions. Again, traffic, send people to a website. Conversions drive valuable actions on your website. So traffic, I'm taking people here. Find me, find me people out of, the, out of the thousands that watch the first one, Facebook. Find me the people that are willing to click and become my traffic to come here. Or the conversions, find me the people out of the thousands that viewed the first one, Facebook. Find me those ones under conversions. Now we're going to go conversions. Find me those ones that are willing to enter their information. Okay. So, so, so there's different steps. There's different steps to the ad game. It's not just run one ad and boom, someone's going to opt in. It's like, dude, you got to find your audience first. You got to find the people that are going to resonate with your video just because you're a management company and, and there's people that are interested in that. How, how do we know they're going to be interested in watching this damn video? Right? We don't know yeah. that yet until, yeah. until we run a video view ad, until we do a video view ad and find the actual people who watched it. And, and then that becomes, again, the people that are, okay, they, they watched the first one. Now let's get, a little, let's get them a little bit familiar with us again and let's show them ad number two. And then let's show them ad number three. And again, at that point, we're trying to get them to opt in at that point. You already watched the damn video three weeks ago. Now it's time for you to shit or get off the pot. Get to my damn page now. Now I'm running traffic or conversions. Get to the damn page and give up your information. I already know you're the right audience because you're watching my shit. So okay. video views allows us to find that audience, find those people. You know, and that's why I always say run a video every week. If, 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 if the budget was there, run a video every week to get to find the people who are viewing it. So you could then run a second ad. There goes your split test. You end up running a second ad under traffic or conversions to then get those people to click. Okay. Make sense? Absolutely. Oh, 100%. Okay. So, so let's go video views and we're going to, we're going to title this one first video. Keep it simple. First video, video views, first video. And then I'm going to copy that. I'm going to hit continue. And then I'm going to simply paste in. I normally just do it this way just for, just for the sake of it, just to um, <laughs> keep everything <laughs> titled the same. But it, you, it doesn't matter. It's just really the first one. What's that? Show me the way you do it, man. I mean, but, but right in the way. second one, what some people do is because each step, you have three steps to the Facebook ad. There's three steps. Step one was video views or conversions or traffic. Step one is a campaign. Step one is telling Facebook, hey, man, here's what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to get people to view it. Or I'm looking for people to, to click on it. Or I'm looking for people to, to fill out the damn form. Those are all things that we're looking to do. I'm just taking you step by step. And step one is a video so we can find the audience. This part right here is the most important. Now, yeah. you mentioned one time, I remember one time you mentioned on my YouTube channel, about, about, I think you mentioned something about lead generation and, and going that route. And when you go that route, you don't need a landing page. Facebook provides a landing page. The only reason why I don't run those types of ads is because I have, it's more, it's more micromanaging than, than I want. So for example, we can capture leads through Facebook through their landing page, but then I have to take that lead off of Facebook. So I'm gonna have to download it off of Facebook into a CSV file and I have to physically manually do that. And then I have to physically and manually upload it to my email autoresponder. Or yeah. I can get a, 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 um, an integration like Zapier and Zapier can make it automatically happen for me, but I got to pay for Zapier. So okay. I'd rather just take them to a landing page and that's going to happen through traffic or conversions. I'd rather just take them to a landing page and, and when they enter their information over here, it's automatically put into my email autoresponder right? It's automatically put over there. And those folks are now getting automated emails. It's just a much smoother process, in my opinion, taking them here than using lead generation over here. I totally agree. I totally agree with you. And, and yeah, so I mean, less steps, easier, less steps, easier. And I don't have to pay for anything else. Because again, with lead generation, I'm gonna have to pay for Zapier. Um, and that's a that's a third party software. So um so, so, so video views, man, video views. But, but my point of bringing you back over here is to let you know that this is the most important step one, this campaign level, three steps, campaign, ad set, ad. The campaign level is where we tell Facebook what we're looking for, what we're looking for, what we're okay. looking for. We're looking for video views 
only so we can find the people who actually view it so we can then create a custom audience and retarget them with ad number two. That's why okay. we, we're, we're starting with video views. And then again, once we go, once we go, let's go video views um, first video or first, what did I name it before? Or actually first, I could just paste it. I could just paste it. I think you said first video. First US, video. Okay. Yeah. There it is there. Okay. So then, and then now we come to the second step. Now this is the ad set over here. We're going to simply tell Facebook which custom audiences we want to target, which are the ones that we created before. So we'll, we'll plot those ones in there. And then we're also telling Facebook placements. So over here, you got audience placements and budget. That's the ad set level. That is step two. Okay. So all we're going to do, all I did at the top is I titled it, pasted, name it the same damn thing. Um, and then custom audience, I'm going to click on it. And then we're going to see leads from capture page two landing page leads. See shit, man. This thing always takes me back. Look, dude, it took me back to the freaking, your personal account. So let me, let me, we're going to start this. I wonder why you did that. I'm glad, I'm glad I wasn't that far in, in the process. Give me one second. I'm glad yeah, you're when you're when you're in here, always look at the top right to make sure you're in the right account. Because by default, sometimes I'll always put you in a different account. This is where I need to be. So so again, that's why I said bookmark. Bookmark this page because you you don't want to be three three t you don't want to be three steps in in your freaking in your personal account over here. You know. So I'm gonna click on create. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go video views. Yep. I'm in the video views. I'm going to learn this fucking shit. Oh, it's just these three steps, man. But at the same yeah. time, it, it, it's more to it, but because you're going to end up having to micromanage it and, and really checking on it. But look this, so your ad account isn't set up yet. So whatever credit card you put it in a different, in a different account. Yeah. I got a car. I got a different credit card. We can put in there real, real quick. So we'll set that part up, but let me, let's see if it still allows us to, to, to go through. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here to the title and I'm going to paste that title in, and okay. then I'm going to come down here and let's click. There goes all of our list. <clears throat> uh, so see, so that's why you got to always make sure you're in the right ad account. Okay. okay. So these are all of our list. So which one do we want to Send it to all of them. I don't give a shit. See, and see, that's what I'm saying. Right here, the custom audience. This is where we set up all the different emails, right? Remember the, the, the Excel yeah. spreadsheet. When we go run the next ad, because this one's the first, this one's video views. When we go run the next ad, ad number two, <clears throat> we're going to see that we're going to create a custom audience and this is where you'll see it. So right here, we'll, we'll create a custom audience of people. It's a minute and 21 second video. We'll create a custom audience of people who watched 50% of it. And so when you click this drop down, when you go run ad number two, you click that drop down and you'll see it right here. People who watch, you could title it. It'll be titled "People who watched fifty percent of the first video," and then okay. boom, we're gonna we're gonna click on them and we're gonna re and we're gonna target them. They're gonna see ad number two. Perfect. I get I get your I get your theory. We're building because an audience. We're building the audience. We're building those. Who, we're 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 piggybacking on those. We're retargeting those who have watched the previous one. And, and that's why it, when it comes to basic advertising 101, a person or basic marketing 101, this applies for everything in general. A person, us humans, psychologically, we have to see some type of ad seven to eight times is what the, 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 the industry statistic is. We have to see a message seven to eight times before we ever make a move. Okay. That's why commercials are so powerful and a, a freaking Doritos commercial and the Doritos commercial plays every time, every 10 minutes on a commercial break. Like remember back in the days we would see Pepsi commercials all damn day. It's uh -huh. like, what were they doing? They were running, they were brainwashing us. We were seeing Pepsi commercials, bro, 50 times a day on TV. Like why? Because they were branding, they were branding, they were just freaking burning that into our brain. It's the same thing with this. That's why okay. we want to retarget those who keep watching our shit. Because if you, if, if you keep watching my stuff, that means I know you're interested. You may not have shit and got off the pot yet. And what I mean by that is you may not have clicked, you may not have opted in, but I know you're watching my shit because Facebook's telling me you are. And I don't know you by name and number, like it's not giving me Scott Jones. But Facebook, again, it's a custom audience. 
Facebook is, is just like, just like they allowed us to create audiences around all the emails. They're going to also allow us to, to create audiences of all those who viewed it. Okay. And I just want to keep staying in front of them. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's absolutely. Where you see the custom audience. And then, and then people, I go people, there's people living or recently in this location, people living in this location, people recently, people traveling. So in your case, you're dealing with freaking landlords. You're dealing with people that are probably in and out or, or, or maybe they just live in that area. Maybe, maybe there, there are people who live in Temecula that have properties in Temecula and that's your ideal client or your ideal client is someone that's on a jet and they're flying all over the damn world and they got property everywhere, you know? So yeah. that's what we got to, got to kind of, you know, determine or, or just make a guess on this one because you know, there, there's different, there's different ones. Do we go, you know, people living or recently in this location, you know? So I got 10 rentals now and none of them live in Temecula. Yeah. The see, see, none of them live in that area. That's good to they know. Live, they live in Orange County. They live in, in, uh, Rancho Cucamonga, they live in San Diego. Uh, when I got in San Diego, they live here in Marietta. So, uh, but there are probably people you said live in Temecula and have property in Temecula for sure. A lot of them are Chinese, dude. I've sold a lot of investment people to Chinese people. They live in give, China. Give me, um, give me one second. Okay. Okay, so let's go with let's go with people living in or recently in this location. Okay, perfect. What age? Oh, they they got to be over. I mean, anybody that owns property has got to be over thirty years old. Hey, Stephanie, this is David. What's up? Are you the step that I spoke to before? What up? Yes, remember? Do you remember me? Yes. You don't have the notes in there though? I thought you would have the notes that we spoke before. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. We were, we were scheduled for three. I'm actually on a call right now. That's why I wasn't able to pick up, but I noticed your voicemail came through. We should be scheduled for three. That's, that's so weird. Yeah, because I scheduled 3 p.m. Pacific time. Do you have another call at that time? That's, that's so weird. That's so weird. Um, I'm on a very important call right now, but I'm, I'm, I'm in. So what's the latest you could take a call? And, and I know there's supposedly a deadline tomorrow, but. To, today? Okay. Give me, okay, I'm in. Give me the, give me the full price. What are you going to need? Perfect. Perfect. Enough said. Enough said. What time can you call me in the morning? I'm in. This is, yeah, this is, but I do need to make, I, I need to make a bank, a bank trip today and that's what I'll do today. And then, and then if we can connect first thing in the morning, or if you want to text me, that's, that's fine too. Perfect. Put me down then schedule that. Put me down. Schedule that. All right, Steph. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye. Kelly, I'm sorry, bro. That was an important oh, call that I had no, scheduled at three, but they thought it was at two. No problem, brother. Don't worry um, about me, man. Don't worry about that, bro. Investing, bro. Investing. Investing in my education. Investing in my business. That's what that's all about. Investing in Facebook ads. Investing in, in, in online marketing. That's what that was all about. And, I, and, and that's no Mickey Mouse shit, bro. Like I'm going to be investing more than I've ever invested in, in any type of online training ever in my life. And I'm a little nervous about it. But Why? But true, true track record that, that my mentors have. So it's like, 
it's 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 on and cracking just because it's a good nut bro like i'm giving like it's a good investment like i'm investing a few thousand like you know so <clears throat> but, i understand i i mean i completely i invest but it's all it's all on this shit it's all on this shit it's all on facebook ads it's all on on this on what we're doing building a business online and, good, and that's good. super important you know you're yeah. gonna you know, I'm learn from you. I'll hire yeah, you're you gonna learn exactly, exactly, you learn exactly. You, because you're my mentor. Exactly. So let's finish this up then. So what okay. age is good? Let's I, go. I, I imagine everybody's probably over thirty, right? I mean, yeah, I would say at least. Yeah, I would say over thirty, even maybe over forty. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do over forty. But at the 40. same time, you know what? Here's what's crazy too: is that we can almost leave this part blank because what Facebook gonna what Facebook facebook's gonna do is they're, they're gonna give us the metrics on everything they're gonna let us know okay is it men who watch your shit or is it women is it is it 18 to 24 year olds who watch your shit or is it 50 to 75 like facebook's gonna give us all that data that's why this first ad is super important so we can get all that data find out who the hell the age group is find out who the gender is and find out how many thousand actually watched it that's okay. why it's worth it to spend the money on this one to to, to really find that ideal audience you know no nope, um, no problem man you're invested in the so time. i'm investing to get this going so I'm not i would i would i would maybe i would maybe leave this part maybe leave this part blank let's you leave all women, this blank even men and women because women again cool. facebook's you know, gonna let us know facebook's exactly. gonna give, you're give right. us the data you're, facebook you're, will let us know in a few days hey man 90 percent of everyone who watched the damn video were men and that's right. good data for ad number two yeah, but you're right because I was just thinking women may watch and say, man, I'm tired of my husband dealing with this shit. So, yeah. Yeah. So. And Facebook will give us that data. So Facebook okay. will give us that data. All so right. let's leave all this part blank and okay. let's not even, let's not even put in, let's not even put any type of criteria or, or anything like that. Okay. Um, and then what I do is I exclude people who already like your page. Like we don't need to target any of those people, the people that like your page, because chances are, majority of the people who like your page even though you have a few thousand the majority of them probably are not investors they're pro in fact you know what <clears throat> I i'm willing to bet that the majority of them are not investors because i helped you run that ad well, and i wasn't that. targeting investors so but at the same time we could target them if we want we could target them and that would be done right here so if we went people who like your page so we want to we want to we want to also target people who like your page but again I, I, it's a fake audience. So it's a fake audience. So, yeah, no so need. it's not that it's a fake audience. It's just, they're just people who, who are not investors. So why would I even target them? Yeah, no, you know I, totally I mean? agree. No, I so agree. I'm going to exclude them. I'm going to exclude them. And then, so what I can do is the custom audiences, which ones do we want to hit? Well, let's hit all of them. Why not? Okay. So why there's 4117, there's 1500 Irvine. Because the reason why I would just question it, because if they're all in, if, if they're all in the same, like, for example, SD Irvine. Um, well, that's so, what we loaded at 6320, but we don't really know how many matches. Uh, yeah. Facebook. And we're, and we're targeting, and we're targeting the, the U.S., right? Yes. Yeah. So, so if I target all these people on these lists and then also target the U.S., that's perfect right there. And now, are we just going to do this county, or how, how do you do? Well, that's what I'm saying. I would, I, if these all lists were in the same county, then down here, I would target that county also. I'd put that name in that in there as well, Temecula or okay. Orange County. But we got lists in here that are SD. So, San Diego. So, so best to tell you the truth would be to run them separately, to, to, run, to run one for just Orange County, and then those lists are in there for Orange County. I, I wouldn't put SD in here unless, unless I was running it to the entire country. So if this United States is going to stick, then we could put in all these different random ones because they're random in their SD, Irvine, Orange County, like their Chinese emails, you know? So it's like- yeah, Cause these, all these people all live Orange County, San Diego and Riverside County. So then if anything, let's not target the United States Let's no. target that area. Yeah, Southern California. Let's target Southern, or, or, or let's just target California, or I could type in Orange County. I could type in San Diego. I could type in Irvine. And Riverside. Yeah, do that. That's perfect. If you can um, do that. Yeah. Riverside County. Riverside County. Uh, Orange County. Orange County. Yeah. You said 
I don't have any patience, brother. Let's go big or go home. Right. Uh, San right? Diego County. Yeah. And uh, Los Angeles County. Who knows, man? I might get a big fish. So South why San Diego, it? San Diego. Let's North, go yeah, San Diego. North, yeah, yeah, San Diego. Okay. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so <clears throat> let me go. Um, Orange River, yeah, and uh, Los Angeles. And Los Angeles? Yeah, why not, dude? I, I, I got to get that mask off my face. So Los Angeles. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll go. I'll go the max. I'll go 50 miles. Perfect. Perfect. So then that's uh, that. Yeah. Marietta. Um, Are we in there with Marietta? I see the circles down here below. You just see the two circles? It says Fontana down, put your cursor down on the map. Yeah. I don't see Marietta being circled. I saw that you did the counties. Okay, now they're overlapping. Okay. Yeah, so they're overlapping a little bit, that, but that's yeah. fine. Okay. That's fine. And so do, that's uh, that. Okay. And then let's go age. What do we say on age? 30 or 40? 40 up because I don't think there's anybody. Actually, there. you know what? No, we're going to leave it. Let's leave yeah, it. You let's said leave it. it. <laughs> let's leave that. Let's leave that. Um, let's leave the detail targeting. And then that's that. And then um, we'll go We'll go manual placements. Sometimes we'll go automatic, but manual. Here's automatic. Automatic placement is when all of these boxes are checked. So we're telling Facebook, remember, uh, over here on the left, you got the campaign. This ad account won't be here next time. It's only here for right now, but you'll have, you have campaign and you okay. have ad set and then you have ad. So we're in the placements. And how much time you got? You got what, five more minutes? I got as much as time as you got. I don't have to leave. What time is it? It's 2.20. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have to leave until 3.30. Okay, we'll be done in 10 minutes. Yeah. So here's the thing. We're now in placements. So when you go automatic placement, this is automatic placement. Automatic placement is all the box checked. You're going to, you're telling Facebook, you want that ad to run on every platform that they got. They got messenger, they got Instagram, they got audience network. Audience network is a bunch of outside websites where Pete, where Facebook puts the ad on like a random website. Whenever people are, are on some random website, they'll see your ad. What I normally do is I, I normally go at go manual placements. So I don't leave it on automatic automatic. All those boxes are checked. When I go manual, I normally nine out of, nine out of 10 times I go manual because I don't want to run it on these other platforms. I don't want to run it together on these other platforms. Testing or not testing, but when we go run the next ad, we can maybe run it on just Instagram. Right here, it's going to be just, I don't want people, I don't want to be running ads to people's messenger and I don't want it on any other random website. I want this ad on Facebook. Okay. And it's going to allow my $10 a day to go further. Okay. Right. So I'm not spreading myself too thin. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's what I normally do. Manual placements. I'll uncheck those. I'll leave it on Facebook and then scroll down all these check boxes. That's Facebook. That's where Facebook is going to put the ad. So um, I'll just leave all those checked. And then down here, I can choose to target people who have an iPhone, people who have an Android, you know, so that really doesn't matter. I just target all mobile. Um, and then, and then, um, scroll down, scroll down. And then here comes the budget. So I leave it on the through play through play is just Facebook is saying, Hey, we're going to, we'll charge you every time someone watches it for 15 seconds. Okay. And, and we're talking freaking a few cents, man. We're not talking dollars, no. you know? No, that's so good. down, scroll down. And then what I do is I go, you got daily budget and then you got lifetime budget. It works out to be the same amount of money as far as budget when we go either one. But what I do is I go lifetime. So okay. rather than rather than ten dollars a day for let's say how many days you want to run it for? Whatever you think. I mean, I you're, mean you're you're the expert. If this was you, how long would you run it? I, I would say days, five days to see what happens. Seven days. No, it's not to see what happens, it's to get people to watch it. Bottom line. Like that's what's gonna happen. It just it just comes down to do you want a thousand people to watch it or do you want five thousand people to watch it? You know, so that's all it comes down to. It comes down to the days, it comes okay. down to our budget. So 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 if you did seventy dollars for five days, would more people see it? If, or would if you be did, better? If you did seventy dollars for five days? Yeah. Well, that's how much is that per day? That's freaking. That's like, if you did, if you did, if you did ten dollars a day for seven days, 70 there's bucks. your seventy bucks right there. Let's just do that then. That makes it easier. I, yeah. You know. So, okay. so here's what I do. So rather than going daily at ten bucks a day for seven days, I go lifetime budget, seventy dollars. And I'll just set the calendar 
for 70 day, for seven days. So today's the 19th. We're going to start this. I, what I always do is I always start the next day at 6 a.m. Oh, because okay. Facebook needs to review it. Facebook is going to put it in a review status. And sometimes it could take a few minutes. Sometimes it could take a few hours for them to approve it. Okay. So just to make sure my budget stays on point, I want it to start and end at a certain time. So that 70 bucks is really 70 bucks. Like I don't want to set it for like right now it's 219, 222, 223 PM. I don't want to set it for two night on 219 for 3 PM because Facebook's probably not going to approve it until 7 PM tonight. Okay. You know what I mean? So I'll yeah. always stretch it out. I'll give Facebook plenty of time to review it. I'll give them plenty of time to approve it. And that should be until the next day. Okay. So I'm giving them plenty of time. So I'll have that lot, that ad go live at 6 a.m. And then down here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the 20th to the 27th. And I'm going to change the time over here as well. So that's an even 70 bucks. And I'll go 6 a.m. And that's that. So there's my 70 bucks. There's my lifetime budget. Run ads all the time. Invalid targeting. Specific targeting specs is not valid because, okay, so it's just the, <clears throat> it's the custom audiences. Invalid data for filled. So not all the data. Remember how some of the, some of the list didn't have the number one in it? Oh, um, no, we never uploaded those. We didn't upload those? I got them all. I got them all redone with the one on it. But Let's see uh, if we can still continue. If anything, it's just, it's, it's a filled within the, within the custom audience that isn't filled out. Um, but let's see if we can still proceed. So now we're on the third and final step of the, of the ad setup. Did it do it? If you're driven in ads, you can also do Facebook page. Okay. So now we're over here and then we got this one. Make sure it's coming from your page. And then here's, okay. So here's what, what you what you're, if you did run an ad before, here's how he did it. He created ad right here. And then he simply came over here and he clicked on ad video and he pulled it from your computer, right? He uploaded it like right yes. here. And then you upload it from your duck, from your files and boom, there goes the video, right? Yeah. The, the reason why I don't do it that way, as I, as I said earlier, is because the moment those seven days are up, that ad is off. It's not, not, not only that it's off, it's literally off the wire. It's yeah. off the internet. It's off Facebook. It's nowhere to be found ever again. What I'd rather do is I'd rather put it on the page first and then come over here and use existing post. This yeah, way, so when, when the ad does shut off in seven days, at least it's still on my page. Oh, I right? totally agree. You yeah. never know who the hell's coming to my page in two months. I want them to see this shit too. I paid for it. I want them to see that video at 5,500 views. Uh, no, I, I totally right? agree with you. Yeah, he didn't do that, but he does. He, so he, here's what we do now. Use existing post. We're going to select post, and it's going to be videos. Um, let's go publish post, and it will be one of these videos down here. So we scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Where is that video? So if we don't see the video, let's see if we can just simply come over here and we click on the video. And let's see if these numbers right here will allow us to pull it. So if I take those numbers and I, and I um, paste it in right there, okay, so why is that? Ads, post, all post types. Why is that ad or that video not showing up? Let's see. Okay, so let's see where that damn video is at. Do you see it right here? Okay, actually, it's, it's this one right here. It's this one right yeah, here. Except Yep, that's that one right okay, there. Okay, so September 9th. Let's see if this is September 9th. This is five months ago. September, October, November, December, January. Fair, perfect. That's the one. So why choose Archer Management Group? It's this one right here. Why choose Archer Manager, Management Group? Perfect. So it's right there. Okay, so we click on that. Okay. 
Okay. Let's let this shit populate real quick. See, that's the thing. See how you fixed, uh, how there was a problem and you knew how to, to cr fix it? Yes. That's the thing that YouTube videos and, 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 how, and cartridge videos don't teach you is they show you how to do it in an endless thing, how it works so perfectly. But in reality, none of this shit works perfect. You got to know how to, um, how you're doing is what I meant. You know how to, okay, it's not working here. Let's go here and figure it out. That's um, where YouTube and shit don't teach you. Let me see if I can give me one second. Let me let me see if I can put this number right there. Okay, so this is the number I need. So let me paste this. So sometimes when you can't see it there and it doesn't pull there, it's the number. Let's see if it pulls right here. No, I'm glad this is happening right now because and it's on tape. I would never even know how to be going. Hey, what do you do? Perfect. There it is there. So <clears throat> now, so so sometimes if you click on use existing post and you click on um the get the post sometimes it might not not might not pull so then what you got to do is you got to you got to check the number this number up here so if you click on the video so it was i clicked on videos to the left i clicked on the actual video to open it up and then these numbers up here is what i wanted to search for and that's what i did so i searched it told me that those were the wrong numbers it gave me the correct numbers i put i put these numbers in i put these numbers in and it pulled it okay so that is it right there and so one thing we also want to do is you always want to make sure that before you put it there like let me let me let me let me delete this real quick um let's go with um Because what I want to do real quick is I want to just make sure that this is all the info. So we click on edit video. I want to make sure that this is exactly because once I set it up, once once we once we finalize this ad over here, we can't change the text anymore. So whatever text right here, we got to look at the text real quick and make sure. So when you put it on the page first, just always make sure that that text is exactly what the ad. This is the ad. When you post it on the business page, this is the ad. So the text. The video, obviously, but most importantly, the text, most importantly, you know, the text, make sure it's, 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 it's what we want it to say. So why choose Archer Management Group? New video alert. Check out, our, check out Archer Management Group's latest video. Let us know how we can help you with your property management needs. Call us at, see, rather than call us at, what I would say is I would say, click learn more. Click learn more. Click learn more. But we're, but yes, no it's not, it's not, it's not the, it's not the traffic or conversions, but at least it's there. So when that ad is shut off, people come to our business page in five months, there's that learn more button. The learn more button stays. Okay. I see and so okay. I want to link at least to have it just to have it. I want to link my link there. Okay. So this is copy. So I'm going to come back over here. So I just want to make sure that where to go. Let's. I want to make sure that this is, is exactly accurate because this, again, this ad, this post is going to live forever. Oh, I, so, one, I totally agree 100%. So click learn more for, for what? Click learn more for your free download? Yeah. Click learn more for your free download. On, um, download on how to turn your property or, or your free download on how to keep your property rented and turn your home into a cash flow asset. Perfect. So click learn more for your free download. How to keep your property rented and turn your home into a into a cash flow asset. Okay, perfect. So then let's save and then also we can even we can also choose a different thumbnail. So if that wasn't the thumbnail we wanted, we can go with a different thumbnail. What, what do you mean by a thumbnail? Is that is the that, image? This a, is the first image that they see. Okay. Oh, like, okay. That's so a I thumbnail. Can, so I can just go through it and, and, and see if there's a look. This one's a cool one. That yeah. one's that one's a cool one. Okay. So if I, if I hit, so that's the thumbnail. So if I hit save and then I come back. So now, so I'm glad I did all of that so before I. I, I confirm the ad. Right? 
Does that make oh, sense? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, man. Okay, I mean, so if I, I click don't... on videos now, it might not have updated just yet on this on this thumbnail, but it for sure we changed it for sure. So if we hit if we just give it a few minutes, it'll, it should it should update with that new thumbnail. But not that that's important. But it, no, it, I think it. I think it's it'll important. It'll update. It'll update for sure. I think so, it's important. So here's what we're gonna do. So now now we add a button. Why? Right, right. We're gonna go with the learn more, or you can go with download. You can go download, learn more is, is statistically proven through Facebook to get more engagement, to get clicked on the most. So out of all of these cat, all of these call to actions, watch more, send what's up message, sign up book. Now learn more is supposedly the most clicked on, Okay. but you have, you have download. I mean, that one, that could be good uh, too. A, lo yeah. a lot of people use download, but it's up to you. I'll learn more. Let's go learn more. Yeah. And then we're going to paste in, we're going to paste in our link to the page. And again, this ad is not to get people to click, but at least for future purposes, that learn more button will always live on the post. Yeah. And who knows? You never know. Someone and you never know. Someone that views it might end up clicking on it as well. And that yeah. that'll take them straight to the page. Yeah. So there it is right there. Um, send Facebook or send notification to Facebook. So a no notification has been sent to the Facebook account. So you should get a notification on your phone right now. Um, and then I'm going to scroll through, scroll through. I'm going to hit confirm and that's it, man. So, so I can put a credit card in. Yeah. And this is, this is where you'll put your credit card in. All right. You need it. So yeah, grab it. What I'll do is I'll just, I'll just hide this part. Let me, um, turn the video off. Go ahead and, um, actually, you know what? Yeah. Cause that's all, that's all we need for the video. That, that, that was all, um, then once you put it in and then you can turn the video back on. Yeah, no, it's all good. All right, YouTube fam. See you guys later.